welcome to. Um, if you have an issue with either of those, then wear a mask and be safe. So um, I'm just excited to breathe. How about that? This yoga class should feel pretty fantastic today, shouldn't it? Um, where actually when I say breathe in, you're going to actually be able to breathe in, which is wonderful. Your body will respond beautifully. So um, welcome. I'm trying to think. Do I have any announcements to make? I don't think so. I do not have any speaking engagements. So no announcements. These are the ones that keep me in charge. They're like my unpaid uh, entourage. <laughs> Um, so my name is Beth Perry. I own Wellness 360. We do group fitness classes for disease management, reversal and prevention. We also do physical therapy and massage therapy. Um, and we're right up over the hill in the Sherwin-Williams building. So uh, we do take most insurances, which thanks to my business partner, Lindsay, she's been working tirelessly to make that happen. Um, I actually feel a little guilty. I feel like we need a wine bottle under the desk with a straw. It's been so stressful. Uh, <laughs> if anyone here's dealt with insurance, imagine that times 10. So it has not been fun for her, but, um, but she's doing a fantastic job. So I support her by cleaning toilets and <laughs> working really hard in massage therapy. So, um, all right. So everyone get comfortable in our seats. And make sure, yeah, everyone take their arms and go like this and adjust your chairs accordingly. Remember, the wonderful person that comes here early to set up chairs does not participate in our class. So they don't know how far chairs should be. So please don't slap your neighbor. That's the exact opposite of what we want, or the, or the garbage can, you know. All right, so everyone get comfortable in your seats. Let's close our eyes. And we're just going to tune into our breath. We're going to breathe in through the nose. And breathe out through the mouth. Just finding a nice and steady breathing pattern in and out. and your focus to your breath. Feel how the breath feels going in the nose, abdomen expanding, and out of the mouth, your rib cage and abdomen contracting. Feeling just a little sense of gratitude because if you're breathing in and breathing out, there's more working in your body than not working in your body. Just allowing your body to calm with each exhale. As you exhale out, just allowing the shoulders and the spine and the neck and the jawline to relax. In the next couple breaths, just setting an attention for today's class. Whatever it is that you are needing in this moment, whether it's relaxation or an answer to a question or calm, muscle tension relief, pain relief, you choose. It can be different for everyone. Just set that intention now with your breath. Breathing in and breathing. 
breathing out. A couple more times. You don't have to follow me. You can go with your own breathing pattern. And exhale all the way down. Let's take our right hand and lift it up towards the sky and a big stretch to our side and bring it down, moving right into the other side. Nice deep inhale, reach, and exhale down. We're gonna go left and right just a couple times here. And with each reach, see if you can reach just a little further, expand that rib cage just a little further. Wonderful, one more side. Great job, both hands on the knees. Let's curve that back, tuck the chin, and a big arch here. And then bring your belly forward, shoulders back, gaze up towards the ceiling. And tuck again. Just work your way through that spinal flexion and extension. This should feel really nice on your spine. Only going in your comfort zone, whatever that is for you, it'll be different than your neighbor. Great job, back to center, taking that neck and just doing just a couple gentle circles. It does not matter which direction you're going, we are going to go both directions. And then the other side. Let's go side to side now with our neck, just as far as you can. Just working within your comfort zone. But be mindful of your shoulders. Keep your shoulders nice and still. And just move that neck side to side. If there's an area that you feel a nice stretch and you want to hold for a couple breaths, go for it. And now we're going to move forward and back. So chin to chest. And then nose to the sky. Just working through that cervical flexion and extension. If you feel a little pinching or feel some discomfort, you can go back to your circles or whatever feels right to you. And then we're going to do a rotation. So we're going to shake our head no, left and right. Nice and gentle, nice and slow, allowing that neck to relax, those shoulders to relax. Great job. And from here, keep your shoulders exactly where they are, just pull them back. And release. Pull them back. Probably back in correct posture. And release. Feel how awkward that feels. And release. A couple more times. Back. And release. And back. And release. We're going to take your right arm, we're going to take it across the body, and we're going to give it a hug. Nice and gentle. And release that arm down. Loop the bottom of your chair, just a little tiny grip, and lean away. Give a little distraction in that shoulder. We're going to hold this for just a few seconds. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice 
nice deep breath out. And see if your body will release just a little further. One more time. Nice deep breath in. Nice full breath out. See if it'll release just a little further. And come back up to a nice tall seated position. Scoot forward just a little on your chair. And then we're going to take that arm behind the body. If you feel like giving it a little pull, you can. We're just really kind of stretching all aspects of that shoulder out. This can be really uncomfortable for someone that has a really forward posture, maybe had a shoulder injury or a surgery, so don't ever push it. No pain, no gain is not anything you will ever hear me say unless you're recovering from a knee surgery. That is a whole different ballgame, but that is the only time I've ever used that statement. And release slowly, shake it out. Other side, left arm across the body, give it a hug. Left arm, put that arm down. Left arm, <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> this one, I'm surprised that 90% got it right. This is not an easy one to get right. So every time I give this one, I think, oh, here we go. Here we go. Great job. Release down, hook the side of your chair, and just give a gentle lean. You may find one side of your shoulder is a little more cranky than the other. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, just allow that shoulder to give just a little more. Very, very gentle here. And bring yourself to a nice and tall position. Take that thumb down and bring it behind the back. Give it a gentle pull if that feels right to you. Sitting up nice and tall. Great job. Still breathing free of that mass, and slowly release, shaking it out nice and gentle, and then just some shoulder circles. Let's go backwards because we have enough in life to pull us forward. So let's go backwards against the grain. Great job. All right, you're going to take your right arm up. And you may get some snap, crackle, pops. They are more than just the characters on Rice Krispie. They are all down my spine today, left and right. Now let's take that hand and let's reach over the head. So as you go, expand that whole side rib cage here. And then I want you to inhale and feel that rib cage expand even more. And exhale, nice and full. Other side, reach across. Inhale, see if you can expand that side rib cage. And bring it down, very nice. Palms to the knees. We're gonna open up the knees a little bit. You're gonna take your right shoulder and lean it in towards the center. And bring it back to center. Other side, shoulder in. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. And bring it back one more time each side, shoulder in. I'm gonna give that a full inhale and exhale here. And bring it back. Last time, last side. And bring it up, both hands behind the back. Open up that chest. Sit up nice and tall here. Nice deep breath in, nice full breath out. Expand that chest, expand that rib cage. And release the hands. Let's inhale, hands up and overhead. Knees are still wide, we're gonna exhale down as far as feels comfortable for you. So reaching down, allowing the hands to just brush the floor if you can reach. You can keep your spine nice and straight. And bring it up. Let's open up those arms, big open. And exhale. 
exhale down again, forward, hands towards the floor, nice inhale here, nice exhale, and bring it up, big chest expand, we're going to stay upright this time, but our hands are going to go to our knees, great job. We're going to take and we're going to march our right knee up and give it a squeeze. Sitting up nice and tall. When you let go of your knee, you're going to slowly lower. And then we're going to pull our other side up nice and slow. Don't pull it up. Use your core to pull it up and give it a squeeze. Sitting up nice and tall. Depending on your surgeries, this could may or may be easy or not. Slow it down, nice and slow, lowers. Great. Other side. And slow, lower down. And scoop one more time. And slow, lower down. Very nice. Sitting up nice and tall. Both hands are going to drape over our right thigh for a gentle torso twist. Nice deep inhale here. And exhale, staying twisted. Maybe you can twist a little bit further. We're relaxing our shoulders. And bring it back to center. Other side. Switch. Nice deep inhale. Nice full exhale. And bring it back one more time each side. And switch. relax. Right hand to right knee. We're going to thread the needle. So take the left hand under. And we're going to hold this for a nice full inhale and a nice full exhale. And then we're just going to bring that arm all the way up. Big rotation here. And then bring it down again. Thread the needle. Bring it through. Nice inhale and exhale here. And open it up. And one more time. Thread that needle underneath. Nice inhale, nice exhale. And bring it back. Other side, take that hand, thread the needle. And open up. And bring it under. And bring it up. And bring it under. And bring it back up to a nice tall position. We're going to work on some more rotations by doing some waving hands like clouds. So just take those hands, we're going to wave them across the way. This is a great time to close your eyes and really bring your attention back to your breath. Our mind wanders all the time. 
So as your mind starts to wander, you're no longer bringing that focus and attention to the present moment. So anytime you start to feel your mind wander, just close your eyes and focus on that breath. And calm that mind, calm that body. Bring yourself into the present moment. The only moment that change can happen. Great job. We're going to bring the hands back to the center. We're going to inhale them up. We're going to bring them back and we're going to push forward as far as you can reach. And then inhale the arms back. Inhale them up. Bring them back and push and reach. Flip the palms up and just kind of Bring everything back to neutral. Lift the palms up, circle them back, reach. Now that we have the technique, let's move the breath with this. So come back and reset. So let's inhale, right into exhale. Inhale, and exhale for the reset. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale for the reset. One more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale for the reset. Ooh, you feel a little tingly, a little flighty? <laughs> inhale up. And exhale down, or I should say out, not down. And then bring it down. We're gonna inhale up, exhale out, and inhale down, and reset with the exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale for the reset. Inhale, arms up. Palms come together, exhale with a nice rotation. We're rotating our left elbow towards our right thigh, if that feels right to you. And we're gonna inhale back to center, both arms up and overhead. Big inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the other side. Remember, you don't have to make the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. We should be warmed up when we're making a little progress, but just the best you can. Inhale, both arms up, reach nice and high. Exhale, twist. Bringing out those lungs like washbox or a sponge. And inhale up. Said that wrong in West Virginia, it's worse clocks. <laughs> other side, my family would be so disappointed. You've lost your I've lost my accents. And inhale up. I still add L's where they don't belong. And exhale down. And we still color with crowns instead of whatever you say. <laughs> inhale up. And exhale down. Pull that knee up to the chest. This time we're just gonna hold it and we're gonna squeeze. Nice big stretch here to our glutes and to our low back. Relax those shoulders. Try not to use your shoulders to hold it up. Try to just pull those hands back towards uh, the knee. Then we're gonna kick that leg out and we're gonna reach down towards our toes. Remember, you wanna be at the edge of your seat here, but these are slippery seats, so I say that with caution. Nice inhale. And nice exhale. One more time. Nice inhale. <coughs> and nice exhale. 
and slowly bring it up. Scoop that knee in. Sit up nice and tall. Scoop that knee or that ankle over your knee. Ooh, now my knee's popping. I'm popping everywhere today. Nice and tall. I feel like my one man band today. And we're just going to put some gentle over pressure into that knee. So don't compare yourself to your neighbor. If your knee is here or here or where, it doesn't matter. Yoga in this moment is just to appreciate your body. We're giving you the energy to even make it to class today. So just love your body exactly where it's at right here. Maybe you can't do this at all. Also perfectly fine. And pull that knee across the body. A lot of people would give anything to have your leg right now. Nice deep breath in, and nice full breath out. Take that right hand to the left knee, and let's open up. I said that wrong. Yes. <laughs> left hand, right. right hand to the left knee. I don't know, whatever, whatever you're doing, just do it that way. I'm so confused right now. And bring it back. <laughs> And relax it down. Great job. Let's scoop up the other side. Scoop up that knee. Sit up nice and tall. Remember I said, love your body exactly where it is. And that's imperfections and all. And kick that leg out. Remember, edge of your seat, but not too far on the edge of your seat. And reach down towards your toes. Let's take a couple deep breaths here. So nice deep breath in. Nice full breath out. Again, nice breath in. Nice full breath out. And slowly roll it up. Scoop that knee in one more time, sitting up nice and tall. Good. Probably the best posture you'll have all day. And scoop that ankle over the knee. So we're going to take our hand and again, just a little over pressure into that knee. And then pull that knee across the body. This time, we're going to take our right hand on our knee and take our left hand and open it up. I think I got that right. <laughs> Relax those shoulders. Nice breath in. Nice full breath out. Relax back to center. Give that knee a squeeze. Let's give our ankles some love. I didn't do that on the other side. So let's give that ankle some circles. See how many pops you can get out of that ankle. And then let's switch sides and give a little ankle love to the other side. Trying to avoid your foot cramp. All right, great job. Knees nice and wide here. Right elbow towards right knee, left arm up towards the sky. Gentle twist. Press the shoulder back. And if it feels right to you, gaze up towards the ceiling. If that does not feel right, you can keep your neck in a more neutral position. And then switch sides. switch. Nice, full, deep breath in. And nice, full breath out. And switch. 
Nice full breath in. And nice breath out. And switch this time. Nice full breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to take that hand and you're going to slowly breathe out and rotate it all the way down towards the floor. Nice slow exhale. Then you're going to inhale and as you inhale, you're going to rotate that open, expand that rib cage and chest. Nice full inhale. And on the exhale again, nice and slow all the way down. And let that arm hang. And bring yourself up to a nice seated position. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Um, right out, left, elbow <laughs> to left knee. Inhale, up and overhead. Remember, I'm mirroring you, so I gotta reverse it in my head. All right, inhale, nice deep. Exhale, bring it all the way down. And when you're ready to inhale again, we're going to scoop it up. Nice inhale, rotate that shoulder open. And then exhale all the way down, nice and slow. Working with the body, not against the body. Bring yourself back up to a seated position. We're going to turn our bodies to the right side of the chair. Left knee down towards the ground. And then if you want to lean forward just a little smidge, push that leg back and sit up nice and tall. You're welcome to hold on to the back of the chair, safety first. Inhale that left arm up towards the ceiling. We're going to give it a nice deep inhale here. And a nice full exhale. On your next inhale, tip towards the back of the chair with your hand. So drop your left knee down towards the floor, left arm towards the back of the chair. So you're really just elongating that, that mid body. You should be feeling a nice stretch in that hip flexor, the front of the leg. And then sit up nice and tall. Take that hand towards the back of the chair and rotate. Shoulders relax down. Nice full inhale here. Nice exhale. And then rotate your body towards the front of the room with arms out wide and parallel to the ground, gazing over that front hand for a modified warrior two. So we're going to do a couple movements here. We're going to take our back hand. You're going to drop it down towards the floor, scoop it up. Both arms are going to come straight forward with a little extension here. Then you're going to exhale. You're going to take that same arm, that left arm down and move it back towards warrior two. Almost like a pendulum swinging back and forth. So it comes down, nice big inhale, little tiny extension in your back, both hands up. Exhale, bring it back down. And inhale, find that balance. And exhale. And relax. Pull that knee in. Let's go to the other side of the chair. So you're sitting on the left side of the chair. The front knee here is down towards the floor, the right knee. Lean forward, press that leg back just a little smidge and sit up nice and tall. Nice deep breath in. Nice full breath out. Take 
that right hand up towards the sky. Nice deep breath in. Nice full breath out. Now with that hand still in the air, take that right hand towards the back of the chair. Take that right knee towards the floor. So you're really pushing and elongating that whole side body. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. Sit up nice and tall. Take that hand to the back of the chair for a gentle rotation. Nice inhale here. Nice exhale here. Rotate both hands to the front of the chair. You'll find one side's a little harder to rotate than the other. And then gaze over that front hand. So I have my right hand is behind. What it's going to do, it's going to drop down. And you're going to swing both arms up for a gentle back extension. Exhale, back into your modified warrior two. Drop that hand down, and as you brush the floor, you come up, inhale. Big, big, big inhale, little back extension, if that feels right. And then exhale. And one more time, inhale. And then exhale. And then swing that knee in, facing the front of the room. Let's go through a little flow, little inhale, exhale flow. Come to the edge of your chair. We're gonna inhale, you can keep your knees close. We'll inhale up, exhale, reaching forward. We're gonna hinge over our knees. Let the hands just kind of brush towards the floor. And then inhale back up. Raise the right knee and scoop it in. Kick that leg out and reach towards the toes. Nice inhale and full exhale here. Slide everything back to neutral. We're gonna inhale our arms up and overhead. We're gonna reach forward, nice full exhale here. Scoop the hands towards the floor and swing them up. Big circle, lift the left knee. Give it a squeeze. Little secret core work in here. Kick that ankle and heel down. Reach towards the toes for one full inhale. One full exhale. Sitting up nice and tall, slide that heel back, inhaling up. Exhaling down, sweep the hands. Inhale up, right knee up, big open chest, and squeeze. Kick it out, and reach towards the floor. Nice full inhale. Nice full exhale. Bring it back up. Slide the foot back. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale. Sweep those arms down. And as you sweep them up, you come up. Bring up that left knee. Big circle squeeze. Kick it out. Reach towards our toes. Close our eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out. And slide everything back to neutral. Get comfy in your chairs for our final breath work. We're going to get comfortable. Close our eyes. Sitting
feet up nice and tall, spine nice and elongated. We're going to take a moment to breathe in nice and deep. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Nice deep breath in. And out. With the in breath, you're going to repeat quietly to yourself. I realize I cannot control the waves. And as you exhale, I choose to smile. And as you inhale, I realize I cannot control my health. And as you exhale, I smile. And as you inhale, I inhale with the understanding that I cannot control others' actions. And as I exhale, I smile. And as I inhale, I realize there's not a lot in life that I can control. And as you exhale, every day I choose to smile. We inhale. And we exhale. Two more times. We inhale. I choose to smile. Last time we inhale. And we exhale. I choose to smile. Allow both hands to drop down to the side. We're going to inhale both arms up and overhead, palms come together, exhale, hands to chest. The spirit in me respects and honors the spirit in each of you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see everyone next Friday, same time, same place. Sunshine, rain, we're here. <laughs> all right? We'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Thank you.